Hello family, we thank God for today, Sunday. The Lord has been good to us through the week, he's preserved our lives, he's brought us into the beginning of another week and um, we once again are grateful for his love and kindness, for how he continues to show us new mercies each and every day. Today I'm going to base my prayer on the word I shared on the 25th of June, which is that, or was that, we can break free from every curse. So Father, today we want to thank you once again for your mercy. We bless your name for who you are in our lives, our strong tower, our shield, our hiding place, our glory, the lifter up of our heads, the one, O oh God Almighty, who turns our mourning into dancing, O oh God Almighty, the one, O oh God, who has lifted us, O oh God, from lowly places and caused us, O oh God, to be seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, the one who has redeemed us with the precious blood of your dear Son, your only begotten Son, that through the cleansing that comes by his blood, and even as many of us who have believed on his name, believe that he is your Son, and have accepted him as our Lord and Saviour, that by your grace and your power, we've been therefore translated from the kingdom of darkness and brought into your marvellous kingdom of light. We thank you that in Christ we have total redemption. But God Almighty, we also know that in our lives there are times, O oh God, when we encounter situations, O oh God, that makes us know that we may be experiencing the general curse of sin because, O oh God, your word says, for all men have sinned. In fact, we are all born in sin, but we are only, O oh God, made righteous, Father God Almighty, in Christ Jesus, for we have no righteousness of our own. And so because we live here on this earth, we know that, God, there's a general curse that was pronounced. Even, O oh God, as Adam and Eve sinned against you and you banished them from the Garden of Eden, Father God Almighty. So, Lord, we know that, God, there are general curses, O oh God, that the, everybody on the face of this earth is under. But we thank you that in Christ, Father God Almighty, we have been translated in Christ. We have been made a new creation. Therefore, the old has gone and the new has come. And in that newness, Father God Almighty, you've called us to be a people who are blessed and not cursed. Therefore, your word says, O oh God, that Jesus became a curse for us so that we will be blessed. So today, as we stand upon your word that you gave us, that we can break free from every curse, I bring each and every one of us before you, God, that if there be any area of our lives where we know that Lord God, what is prevailing, it may be a situation in family, an occurrence, certain things that may have been considered as generational curses that we may be seen exhibiting itself in our lives, in the lives of our spouses, our children, our parents, our family members, Father God Almighty. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus that today we bring those situations and any curse linked to that under the foot of Christ and we declare victory over those and we pray that God Almighty, those curses will not have a hold in our lives or in the lives of our children that are yet to come because we take our authority on the word of God which has made us more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. For Lord God Almighty, because we've become new in Christ, Father God Almighty, the blessing for which Jesus died on the cross is supposed to be made manifest in our lives and that supersedes any curse that God may be against our lives, whether it be generational, whether it be pronounced curses people have spoken over our lives, whether it be things we ourselves have done to put ourselves in the place of God of invoking a curse upon our lives today, we plead the blood of Jesus, that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us, the blood of Jesus will destroy those curses, the blood of Jesus will set us free. In the name of Jesus, so that God Almighty, we will walk in total and absolute freedom. Father God Almighty, but we know that even if there be curses in our lives, that we are the ones who are also supposed to first and foremost acknowledge what they are. And so, Father, if there are things that are curses that we have not even um, been able to recognize them for what they are, may you open our eyes, reveal those things to us, Lord. And when we have come to acknowledge them for what they are, may we not be a people who walk in fear, but let us know that your word says you've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind, that with that sound soundness of mind, knowing who we are in Christ. We will be bold, we will be strong, we will be courageous to take our stands, O oh God, in Christ through prayer, through the study of your word, through the meditation of your word, through speaking your word over our lives and anything else that you may require of us to do as individuals, Father, so that God will 
cut off ourselves, or cut ourselves off from those curses or anything that links us to a curse. That God, we will be those who will be quick to obey. We will be able to discern. We will hear you speak to us clearly that this is what you want us to do. So that when you have given us that direction, we will follow it through so that our freedom and our liberty will be complete. Father God, I pray that if there be those who have been praying about some of these curses or things that they perceive to be a curse and maybe it seems like we're still under that bondage, let us remember, Joseph, that God Almighty, the fact that he was in prison did not mean that you were not with him. Even in prison, you were with him. You told us, Lord God, that we can be prisoners. But even in our prison moments, it doesn't mean that, Lord God, prison should be inside of us. We can still take our stance in Christ Jesus and walk in freedom, knowing that in due season, we will have that total liberty that you want us to walk in. So let us have the right attitude. Even, Father God, as we're praying through some of these things and trusting you for total and absolute freedom. For in Christ, your word says that you have set us free and we are not to be yoked to any form of slavery. Therefore, we thank you that already you have made provision for our freedom in Christ. Help us, Lord God, to take our stance in that freedom so that God Almighty will be truly able to testify that of a truth we are those that are blessed and not cursed. In Jesus' glorious name, we thank you. Amen. Before I go, we're going to go over our memory verse in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2. It says, Do not neglect to extend hospitality to strangers, especially among the family of believers, being friendly, cordial, and gracious, sharing the comforts of your home, and doing your part generously. For by this some have entertained angels without knowing it. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.